Hey there, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another episode of how to create a 2D car racing game with Unity. So, in this video we're gonna finally add audio and sounds to our game. So, in the last video we have created a dynamic menu that gets appeared whenever the game is over. In this video we're gonna concentrate on audio and how we can get how we can add audio to our game. So let's get started. Now before starting I would like you to know some basic theories about audio in Unity. So in Unity if you want the audio to be played then you should have at least one audio listener. An audio listener play an audio listener can listen the audio and so that whenever the game is playing you can listen the audio too. So, generally an audio listener is attached to the main camera. If you select the main camera here, you can see that an audio listener component has been attached to it. So, we don't need to add any other audio listener here. Now, if we want an audio to be played, then we need to add something called an audio source. Okay. So, apart from this audio listener, we need to also add an audio source and if we want to play more than one audio from different sources then we need to add more than one audio sources okay so in this case we're gonna right now attach only one audio source and we're gonna attach it to the car so that whenever the car is moving the audio gets played and whenever the car is destroyed the audio gets stopped too now First, I will show you an easier way to do this. Okay, uh, so that will be very easy. But later on, I will show you how to do that using scripts so that later on when we have more than one sounds, we can manage that effectively by using an audio manager. So, let's dive into it. So, first of all, uh, let's do the easy way. So, select the car and from the add component, let's uh, go to audio and audio source now as you can see in audio source here we have an option called an audio clip using the audio clip we can play any sound we have to uh, if we want to play any kind of audio we have to actually attach that audio we have to at assign that audio in this audio clip okay so i'm gonna use this audio that i have got from unity standard assets or I can't remember from which asset I actually got this. I will uh, give the download link so that you guys can download this audio. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this to this audio clip. Now, if you take a look at the options, options here, uh, it says play and awake. And if play and awake is checked, then whenever this object is going to be instantiated this audio will start playing that means we don't have to play it manually it will automatically keep playing whenever the object is instantiated okay and another option we want is we want this audio to be looped that is we want this audio to be played again and again and again and it, we want it to be keep playing so that is why we want to check this loop option okay so with that done uh, we are ready to do we are ready to play the audio so let's go and play that now if I play it if you can see if you can hear it I'm not sure if you can hear this probably you can hear this if I have enabled the desktop audio so if you are playing this you can hear this audio and this is playing uh, when the game getting started that means whenever the game is getting started that means uh, if we have since we have actually checked the play on awake uh, option so that is why it is getting played from the very first moment and the game object gets instantiated now whenever the car gets destroyed the audio source was attached to the car so it gets destroyed too along with that so that is why whenever the car gets destroyed the audio source gets destroyed and that is why the clip stopped playing so this was a very easy way to do this let's try one more time if i play it it's playing and if you go and select the car here as you can see here is audio source attached so if i go and destroy this car now 
if I go and destroy this card now as you can see the audio source the card is destroyed that is why the audio source is destroyed and that is why um, the audio is not getting played anymore so this is a very easy way to do this so in the next video we'll try to do a lot more organized way uh, we'll try to do it in a lot more organized way and believe me that is going to be very very helpful because when we have more than one sound we don't want to do it this way we want to give, do it in a more organized way so we'll create an audio manager and using that we will manage all the audio clips and we can play whenever we want to play whatever audio so this is for this video I know this is a very very small video but I wanted to show you the easier way to update audio easier way to add audio to a game so thank you very very much for watching I hope you helped and if you have any questions just write this in comments you guys are awesome and have a great day thanks for watching